children's author T.A. Barron is looking to inspire America's youth to dream big by honoring 10 young leaders who have made a significant difference in the lives of others. Barron awards the winners $2,500 to be applied for their education or their service project. For more, I'm joined by T.A. Barron and one of the recipients of his award, Oton Jackpur. Oton's research on ozone emitted from portable air purifiers has led to a statewide ban on the devices in California. Good morning, guys. Great to see you. Great to be here. Yes. All right, uh, Tom, tell me a little bit about the significance of the Barron Prize and why it's so important to promote uh, heroic deeds by these young individuals. Well, Alexis, it's all based on a simple idea that every child has a hero down inside themselves. Uh, Every kid, regardless of background, age, gender, race, whatever, has a potential for doing something in the world that's positive, to make a difference. The trouble is, kids don't believe that. Most kids think they're powerless. And in fact, we make the matter worse in this culture by spending so much time talking about celebrities and so little time talking about heroes. And there's a world of difference, a huge difference. So how do you get that idea across? Honestly, uh, after 10 years trotting around being a children's book writer, uh, writing about these fictional heroes, I realized that kids today need something stronger than that. And there is nothing as strong as real, live, young people, examples, role models, that can give them a sense of what they might be able to do with their own lives. And so 10 years ago, I, I founded this prize, the Gloria Barron Prize for Young Heroes. I named it after my mother, who was a, a hero in my own life. And uh, ever since then, we've been conferring uh, the scholarship, but mainly turning the spotlight on these wonderful kids from every conceivable background who are really, really just lighting up the world in their oh. own different ways. Uh, the prize is just a small thing, but the whole goal of it is to get the stories of these wonderful young people like Otana out into the world so that other kids can look at them and say, whoa, maybe I can do something. Maybe I can do something with my own life. Speaking of which, Otana, tell me a little bit about what you did. I understand you're one of the 10 recipients of the honor this year. You're 15 years old. What inspired you to do research on air purifiers? Well, I got the idea from reading a Consumer Reports article that was talking about how some air purifiers actually produce ozone, which is a major component of outdoor smog. And it just seemed wrong to me that the people who probably care most about the air they breathe, the people who actually buy air purifiers, could be harming themselves by buying air purifiers that produce ozone. So even though it was a very good article, it didn't include any direct research on the direct pulmonary effects of ozone-generating air purifiers, because as far as I could find, no such research had been done yet. So since my mom has had severe asthma for many years, she has some devices for measuring pulmonary function. And I realized that I could use those devices in my very own home to see for myself what effect ozone-generating air purifiers have on people's breathing. Otana, oh, I'm, I'm speechless. It's led to a statewide ban in California. What has this experience been like for you? How has it changed your life? Well, it's, it's been really great for me because even though I, of course, I didn't, um, I didn't produce the regulation single-handedly because a lot goes into making a regulation, I felt that after this, I had really had an experience that taught me that Everybody can make a difference. It doesn't matter how young you are or the color of your skin or whether you're male or female. Anybody can make a difference. You know, Tom, I was looking at the list of some of the past recipients and some of the work that they have done. Just give us a couple of examples so people understand the ages of these kids and the, and the monumental, inspiring things that they're accomplishing every day. Let me start by saying that, that um, um, for a couple decades, now, I've been writing books about, they always feature a fictional young hero, whether it's young Merlin washing ashore and becoming a great wizard, or, or Kate Gordon saving her grandfather's life. But none of these fictional stories even come close to being as amazing as the real-life stories of, of kids like Otana. Uh, let me take off a few examples. There's, there's Ryan in New York, who at age 12 uh, raised several thousand dollars to help 
provide clean drinking water for a village in Africa because he heard that kids were dying from lack of clean water. Um, there's Ellie in California who organized hundreds of other kids to help teach other children how to speak English, which was their second language. Or there's Barbara in West Texas who organized a whole mass of ranching communities to recycle their oil uh, in, in uh, West Texas. Uh, and by the way, she called her program Don't Be Crude. So these kids have flair and humor as well as energy and insight. And the real point here is that a hero is about character qualities, qualities like courage and perseverance and, and hope and faith and honor and all those things that we want our children to know about. And, and there's no better way to convey that to kids than trotting out real examples. So that's why when I look back, just like you, over the list of kids who have won the Barron Prize over now 10 years, I see kids who look like every kid in America, and I see so many different ways to help the world, to help the community, to help cancer patients, to help the environment. It's amazing, the, just the energy and positive spirit and inventiveness and, and persistence of these kids is, oh. is really remarkable. And, I promise you, it, it renews your hope even just to read about the bios of these kids. It certainly does. I have to say, Tom, reading it this morning, it really did. And Otana, I speak to a lot of really interesting and powerful people, but the one person I'm going to remember this morning is you. Congratulations and best of luck in the future. Keep us up to date on all the work you're doing. And, and Tom T.A. Barron, thank you so much. Big fan. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you. Coming up, Treasury Secretary Geithner and FDIC Chairman.